happening right now. Police are still looking for a four month old girl who was reported missing late last night and is believed to be in danger. Nine on your, your side's Kristen Swilly is live right now with the Loveland Police Department with what investigators are doing right now. Kristen. Hey, good afternoon, Catherine. Just a couple of moments ago, able to get my hands on the incident report. It does list out the make and model of the car that went, uh, that uh, the child was taken from, and uh, a little bit more about the child's parents' names. But for the past couple of minutes here, a steady stream of law enforcement and people identifying themselves as family making their way in and out of these doors back here. But that has all changed just within the past five minutes or so, as they have locked them now and are not letting people, especially in the media, in and out. So right now they are working to try and find out exactly where this young girl is. I spoke with the uncle a couple of minutes ago and he says he says that uh, basically that they have not heard any updates about where she could possibly be as of our last conversation a couple of minutes ago. He uh, he said that they were searching a wooded area and that was the last sort of update that he had been getting get, given. Sorry, uh, he was told dogs were searching a wooded area, didn't know much more. She was last seen at the Dollar General on Loveland Madeira Road just before 9 o'clock last night. Her father says someone grabbed her out of his car and took off. Uh, police are in the process of interviewing parents and possible witnesses about what happened to the child, but say security video from nearby was virtually useless. Police were originally searching for the uh, through the Kelly Nature reserve for any sort of information. They were able to ping a cell phone, but right now they are not telling us who that cell phone belonged to. And as of the last update, they said they did not have an official suspect. But again, very interesting. They were looking through the nature preserve and were able to ping a cell phone, but no more information about that. Uh, we do expect to learn more from officials at 2 o'clock. Our Julie O'Neill will be there and she'll have that update in our later newscast. Reporting live, Kristen Swilly, 9 on your side. Chris